This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Review. And what I'm looking at today is 2015's The Hoarder, directed by Matt Wynn. And if you take a look at the poster for this movie, I think it's fairly garish. And by my reckoning, movies that tend to have garish posters feel desperate. They're so hard up that to put some really intense imagery on the poster and be damned with anything approaching subtlety or nuance. So I don't like this poster. In fact, I kind of despise it. And the problem is that the poster is oftentimes the first thing a person sees before seeing a movie. Now, I'm obviously talking about someone who is not following a particular franchise or anything of that nature, because that's different. Though for standalone movies, the poster is oftentimes a hook, and it draws you in. This poster does not draw me in. And that's a pity, because the hoarder is, in many ways, a really good movie. One of the best things is that the characters feel very fleshed out and lived in. And I think a lot of praise needs to go to Matt Wynn's direction, as well as the editing of this movie. Because in the first, I want to say, 10 minutes, you understand what's happening with these characters. It revolves around a woman named Molly, by the way, who is going through difficulties with her boyfriend, or is it fiance? In any case, someone she's very close to, and their relationship is crumbling. And she gets it in her head to search his storage space, which is in one of those buildings that are exclusively built to store personal items. What Molly is looking for is later revealed to be a diary of hers. Why she's doing this isn't really clear, but it seems that her relationship is really dependent upon her finding it. And Matt Wynn gives us so much information in the first five minutes, most of it without actual words. It's just the way he shoots the actresses. It's the way that the film is edited that so much crucial information is given in such a small window of time. And it's amazing. I've never seen anything like this in recent memory. Now this isn't a whole movie, obviously, but this first five or 10 minutes was just amazing. And to have someone tell a story so convincingly with very little dialogue was remarkable to me. It just blew my mind. Unfortunately, the rest of the story doesn't quite hold up as well. And remember, I mentioned that movie poster earlier. That's something that's actually in a movie. That thing is in the movie. But it's actually secondary to what's really going on. And it's what really is going on, which I will not tell you for obvious reasons, which kind of underwhelms because it doesn't make any sense. The Hoarder comes off very martyrs adjacent. But if you recall that movie, the only reason it worked was that why events were happening as they were happening was explained to the viewer. And that made it a really, by my reckoning, terrifying and thought-provoking movie. Nothing and the hoarders really explain, so it's less an explanation than just someone's weird habit. And it just doesn't work. And also, again, without giving anything away, there's an elaborateness to the antagonist setup that, once again, makes no sense. The movie never tells us why this is happening? How is it happening? It just doesn't work. And that's a pity because, as I mentioned earlier, this movie is so well acted. And that opening is amazing, including the opening credits, by the way. They're pretty neat. 
but it just gets very schlocky. And schlock in and of itself isn't bad, but when you have schlock without reason, it becomes, I wouldn't say unwatchable by any stretch of the imagination. It is actually in its own way quite entertaining, but it becomes a little frustrating. And another issue I have with the movie is that it also gets very inconsistent as to the abilities of the dude on the poster. In a sense that when we initially come to see him, he is extremely lethal. I mean, <laughs> he, he just goes at it really efficiently and quickly, though in another scene, he's not. It doesn't make any sense, really. And the whole, and this whole satisfying nature of the film makes itself noticed pretty early. There's a scene where the proprietor sees the creature from the poster. I think his name is Maurice or something like that. There's a scene where a representative of the company that runs the storage space sees Maurice and the scene cuts. But based upon Maurice's behavior prior, you kind of suspect there's something not right with that scene. And if you did or do, you'd be right. Which goes right back to my criticism of this movie. It just makes no sense. Why is any of this happening? It just does things without an explanation as to why it's doing whatever. And it's just frustrating. The Hoarder is currently on Tubi, and it's worth watching for that opening scene alone. Again, the first 10 minutes are just so well done and by my reckoning, are a textbook example of how to introduce characters in a manner that doesn't overly rely on exposition. It just works so amazingly well that the rest of the movie doesn't really hold up. Though, as I said, it is worth seeing. So what do you think? This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Review. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know down below. And as usual, consider a like or a follow. Peace.